Okay, welcome to issue 99 in the R2D2 build. It's quite straightforward this week. All we're doing is fitting this little chap, which is R2's brain. And it's being fitted inside the dome. And you can see the circuit board inside there. There's actually a warning in the instructions. Make sure that you could touch a cold water pipe or something before you handle the circuit board. It's obviously very static, it's nice and stiff. Yeah. And there's a slot for a TF card as well there. And uh, I think this will give R2 some video capability as well, but uh, that remains to be seen. So we're fitting this today using the two brackets from last week. Alright, let's get on with it. Right, the first stage is we've got to fit two of these brackets to the uh, dome circuit board and we'll be using the flanged 2.5mm screws. Now you'll notice that one of them one of them goes on at right angles you know, square to the box and the other one uh, that goes on at an angle Start that one off. As I said, the bracket that's next to the aerial here, that goes on at right angles to the black box. First one, and the second bracket that, uh, as I say, that goes on at a bit of an angle. And there's a little raised edge there that will uh, give you a clue as to how to line it up. And again, you're using a flange, a flange 2.5 millimeter screw. screws there. Should end up with something that looks a bit like that. Now I've got to fit this to the dome. I'll just check which way around it's going to go. It's got to go with the aerial side of the box next to the lightsaber unit. So we'll be going in that way around. And it'll be held in place by four of the 2.5mm screws. So we'll start by just, just inserting that under there. Bit of a tight squeeze, but I think we can, uh, think we can get it in there. Okay. Now, as usual, I'm going to be putting the I'm going to be putting a little bit of Loctite on these screws because these are 
obviously screws you don't want to come undone or they're uh, really going to foul the uh, foul the mechanism. There's those little uh, screws we'll be using there. Okay, right. We line up the bracket there. Get the first screw in. Second one. I'm actually using a Loctite green today. You have to be a bit quick with it. It drives extremely fast. First bracket in place. You see, just got to line up, line up the second one. And again, it's the 2.5 millimeter screws. by six millimeter screws I should say. screws. A little bit tight that one. Dome circuit board mounted in place there. Right. Now the next step is we've got to connect up the cable for the camera. Now there's a little black connection. This is part 16A in the instructions. And you've just got to flick up the little black part there. Like so. See that that's opened up the connector, and you've got to take the ribbon cable here that comes from the camera, and you've got to slip that into the slot there. There we go, that's it. Simple as that. See that? There we go, that's the ribbon cable in place. It's, uh, it's that easy.
just give it a little just give it a gentle tug just to make sure that it's in position it looks nice and straight and that's it that's it for issue 99 let's just check what's coming next week oh no one more thing to do we've got to connect up the microphone cable which I nearly forgot to do the microphone cable which is the uh, black and white socket there and that simply plugs in there like so and there we go that's issue 99 done there's only one more issue to do and let's see what we get in the final one uh, in the final issue you get the mains charger the two uh, ribbon connectors that connect the head unit down to the MCU and some cable ties and there's a speaker extension cable and uh, there's a sticker for the switches and some little rubber bungs and then we're finished only one more issue and uh, everything will start working so thanks for watching and I'll see you uh, next week